Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by for yet another video. Today I am excited, well I'm always excited, but I'm really excited because I have another unboxing for you guys. And this one is all about makeup, not tech. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this unboxing. So I have a mini e.l.f. haul. These products are all affordable and I decided to kind of like try out a wide range of the products offered by e.l.f. So we are gonna open it together as I always do. Let's see. Ooh. I decided to get a few products that I will I normally use but at a very affordable price. Hopefully I can create a full look using only e.l.f. products and then I will try them, let you guys know how I feel about them and all the things. So when you open the box it says express your e.l.f. which is so cute. And then we have all the goodies in the box. So I'm just going to take them out randomly and I'll tell you guys what I got why I got it and um, like I said I will be following up this video with a full face of makeup using only e.l.f. products. So the very first thing that we have is a palette. Alright so the Opposites Attract palette is a beautiful palette with tones that I typically enjoy. So we have like warm tones, kind of like neutral tones. I love this, the color story of this. There are 18 shades in this palette. You have the warm tones, you have cool tones, and you have some bold colors in this. So there's a pop of color and it looks like this. And I will definitely be using this person. The next one is a matte setting powder. And this one is in the shade Deep. I'm hoping it's like the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I will put everything in the description box so be sure to check below for more information and it looks like this I do like the component it's very sleek very nice not too bulky I like the packaging so this is the matte setting powder the next random product is a gleaming loose highlighter it is of course goldish a gold type of highlighter if anyone knows me they know how I feel about highlighters I love the ones by wet n wild so I'm guessing and hoping that this one will be just as nice and beautiful as it is. So it comes with that little sifter, so it's very well protected. And um, we will see how that one performs on the skin. So I like how it comes. This is kind of like my first time getting a loose highlighter. So I'm really excited to see like how it performs and how different it is from the regular highlighter. So this is again the e.l.f. highlighter by Nabella Noir. You guys know I'm all about lips, so I got this one, the Red Vixen, and I also got this Wine Tour, um, very beautiful wine color. So these two I'm excited to try. I like the component. It's like a frosty, um, very firm type of plastic. So I wasn't sure what my shade was for the foundation. So I got two because I feel like one of these two will be my perfect shade. I will do a color match um, when I'm doing the tutorial. It looks like a very high-end foundation. It's like probably six dollars. So then we have a cream blush palette. I am excited to try this one out. I think this one is not necessarily new. So this is in the um, bold color, obviously, because I want it to register on my skin. So I'm super excited to see if that performs and kind of like compares to the more high-end brands. So this one, it looks like this. The next product is the Poreless Putty Primer and this is Universal Share. So it's supposedly the OG in like the Poreless Primers. There's also a matte one, but I just got the original, I believe. So this is supposed to prep your skin for a more perfect uh, makeup application. I'm imagining that this will help your pores and kind of just help the makeup application look way better. So um, we will see. I don't know if I like it, if I won't. I'm taking a chance here, so. All right, the next item we have is this monochromatic multi-stick. And there's a slight shimmer in it. I will probably swatch it so you guys can see. The sizes can be so deceptive online, y'all. Like this is literally an, about an inch and a half. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can and it's very pretty. So it has a slight shimmer um, on and hmm, this is a bite size. Like how cute. 
The only downside to shopping online is that sometimes you think something is one size when it's really not. So I did not expect how tiny this was going to be, but you can definitely get a very simple eye look with a base, um, kind of like an all-over all shade. You can get like a crease or um, to define it a little bit more and two shimmer shades. The next item is a primer infused bronzer. So this one is primer infused, so it is long lasting, supposedly. and. It looks like this, so I'm not sure how much of a bronzer it's gonna be because it's kind of lighter than my skin, honestly. It's more like a face powder to me, I don't know. I wish it was a little bit more rich. It looks very light for a bronzer, but um, if not, I can probably use it as an eyeshadow or even an all over the face. I don't know how effective this is gonna be. It's kind of lighter because I got the shade Constantly Bronzed. Hmm. And then I have a contour palette on the outside of the box. It does not look very dark, nor deep. <laughs> I mean, I'm judging here, okay? We will see, because sometimes on the skin it performs differently. I mean, gotta give it its credit where it's due. Sometimes it's not what it seems, so. The four shades that come in here, I mean, I honestly, I love the mirror. The mirror is pretty big. Um, you can see your entire face on there, so that's very pretty, but I, I don't have much hope for these contour palettes, y'all, and these bronzing palettes, but I am gonna try it. I do like the, the component. I do like the sleek um, design. Let's see, this one is supposed to be a shimmer. It's okay. It's not very shimmery. This one, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Are you supposed to be setting with this one? Dios mio. Um, this one is like my skin tone, and then this one is barely, barely a contour. Um, it might work. That's the disadvantage of buying things online, sometimes you just don't know. And I took the dark color, so I don't know what else I was supposed to do. We have a another blush palette, clearly I like blush. But this one is a powder um, palette, and this one is, it says mirror included. I would definitely hope that the mirror was included. So this one is in the shade dark. Okay, please be good, because so far my dark dips have not been dark, nor deep. So, oh, that is pretty. That's good. I could use the cream blush and put the powder on top of it to kind of like set it. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. And then let's try this one. Oh yeah. Oh, these are nice. I don't know about the light ones, but that's more like a contour or whatever. Okay, those are pretty. So these four shades are nice. So there you have it, guys. This is my e.l.f. haul. Not a mini haul, but it's not a huge haul either. It's just a, like a medium-sized haul. Um, so far, these other products I'm really excited to try. Some of them, just from first impressions, were like an immediate hit, and some of them were like major side eye. I am excited about the lips, because I'm always here for the lips. And did I mention that these products are cruelty-free? Which is a really good thing about e.l.f. Like, all their products are cruelty-free. So if that is important to you, you will totally dig products from e.l.f. I'm super excited about the blush powder palette because the colors register really well on my skin. I can't wait to try the highlighter. I love the, the component it comes in. It's very pretty. I like the gold packaging around it. It is just really nice. Don't know what it looks like. Let's just find out. Why not? Ooh, girl. Ooh. Ow. It is... She is beaming, y'all. <laughs> I almost like overdid it over here, but it is cute. So I'm kind of excited to use this. It is nice. It is nice. I'm excited to try the palette because for the price, you get 18 shades. And I mean, that's a steal. So we'll see if this one works. And then the final thing I'm excited to try is the Pores Party Primer because I do have pores and I try my best to kind of like cover them up and do all the things that I can to minimize the appearance of my pores. So hopefully this will be good too. And everything else, I will update you guys about it as I go and I create looks with them. Um, and this is it. Thank you as always for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.